Hi, I'm Karen Morris. I'm your instructor for your English class this semester. And I just want to walk you through the steps for navigating the course online successfully. So, of course, this is the Wallace State homepage. Just go to Blackboard and sign in using your A number and your password. So use a capital A for your A number and your password. I've already signed in. So once you get to this page, that's the activity stream, don't uh, just rely on this activity stream. I really want you to go into courses. It's easy to get confused if you just see the activity stream because every new thing that I post will come up here. All of your teacher's things will come up here all together, and it's just sort of a mess. It's really not useful. So really go to courses on the left right here, and then click on each individual course you have. Yours probably is stacked like this, and so your courses will look like this. Of course, mine are all English courses. So find your course and click on it. And I try to keep my course updated so that you see whatever current assignments, the most immediate assignments that you're working on. Um, but if I forget to change it over, or if I'm waiting for a student who was ill or had an emergency and I leave it up a little bit longer, go ahead and continue on with your work by clicking over here under course content and assignments due by 3 o'clock p.m. on these dates. So click on the dates to see what comes on each date, what is due on each date. If you see a colored link, that is there to draw your attention to the fact that you have an assignment due. That colored link is an assignment due. Now your agenda for each day uh, follows fairly closely the class schedule that I've given you here that you can print. So if you click class schedule, you'll see where you can print this one. However, this is a tentative schedule and any updates I will have in the actual dates here. So I'm not going to go back and revise this part and resend it. Um, just keep up with your any any revisions to any assignments here. So whatever date you click on, you can see what's due by the agenda. Also, these little links are to videos that you should watch and take notes on to prepare you for upcoming tests. For example, these are for the grammar test or any assignments. You can see here's a colored link. I have a red link. That means I have an assignment due here, and it's a, it's a paragraph assignment. Now, when you see an assignment, you will also see the instructions for the assignment on that same page. Here it's right under the uh, upload link for the assignment. So the colored links are often the place that you click to upload an assignment when you're finished. Um, in fact, that is the majority of the time. Sometimes I make a colored link uh, for something that just calls your attention to the fact that, for example, you may have a quiz and the quiz may be a video quiz where you click on the video to take the quiz. Now here is a video that demonstrates the assignment. Here is a, an article that you will read for this assignment. So make sure that you open all attached files. Um, sometimes I give you more than one attached file and say that you can choose whichever one you prefer, but this one has just the one attached file. Um, and I have also posted a video for you about how to upload an assignment in Blackboard, since this one's your first one really to upload. The first day of class, you have a red link that is with the Start Here button. You have your attendance verification quiz, and it's just a four question quiz. It is nothing that you won't be able to do very well. So make sure that you do that though because you will need to be able to um, stay in the class. Um, that verification of attendance is what allows you to stay in the class and after a few days of the class being active, 
students who have not taken the quiz will be automatically dropped from the system. And I have nothing to do with that. You just either did or you didn't. So um, if there is some kind of problem with that, though, do email me and let me know. Uh, you have email instructions in your syllabus here. You can click on syllabus and print the syllabus. Uh, but also you have an email etiquette link here where you can learn how to email. And I'll post the syllabus information here too so that you can find that. Um, if you want to meet with me in person, you can see my office hours by clicking here and you can print that out if you want to or you can just look at it. Um, it's taking a moment to pull up. But when I'm in class is not a great time to meet with me unless it says I, that's for the internet or online courses. I'm working on those courses during that time. So if you want to come by during that time, that works too. On Fridays, I'm in my office from 11.30 to 1.30. Um, hopefully all will be well and that will be just sort of a permanent thing. But you can see generally in the mornings is the best time to meet with me um, or Tuesday or Thursday afternoons. Um, other things that you might want to know. Um, on the syllabus, it talks about um, online classes not permitting any kind of late work. Uh, my policy is that if you have an assignment that is late, um, you will be deducted 20% for each day it's late. And that means after five days, there are no points left in the assignment. Um, so make sure you keep up with your due dates. For example, August 31st, the grammar test is due by 3 o'clock. You will need Respondus Lockdown Browser for your grammar test, it says. So in fact, all your tests require that. And there are three tests, the grammar test, the punctuation test, and the final exam. So if you don't know about Respondus Lockdown Browser, Look on the left column, and if you're not seeing the left column, it's just hiding. So take your mouse over, or if you're on your phone, click on the left side, and it'll bring up the table of contents. And you can see under help of all kinds, you can look at Respondus and see how to download Respondus, um, how to make Respondus work. Here's a video of me demonstrating how to make Respondus work. Because uh, even once you've downloaded it, oftentimes students forget to take the necessary steps to make sure that they've closed everything down and made Respondus uh, the only active thing. If you're in a test and it asks you for a password, that means you didn't close everything down um, and start from scratch through the Respondus browser. Um, so this video demonstrates exactly how to do that. I show you what it looks like when it asks you for a password and then how to shut everything down and make it make it work for you. So if that still doesn't work for you, um, you should ask someone in the IT department for help if you have any technical issues because I'm really not a computer expert. I have a degree in English. So helping you with your computer issues is not something I'm going to be able to do very well. Uh, so we have a whole IT department that will help you do that. And they will get back to you as soon as they are able. Um, but email them first. Um, if you need any other kind of help, for example, if you need tutoring and you're going to be required to use the online tutoring service that is paid for by Wallace State, so it's free to you. Um, there are details under free tutors that you can click on and find out more about that. Also, do check your announcements every day. I might not post an announcement every day, but do check your announcements every day by going actually into the class as I demonstrated and clicking on announcements. Now, if you need to meet with me virtually because you are not able to come to campus, uh, you can click Blackboard Collaborate and you can, I can unlock a meeting room for us and we can meet virtually. So we'll be able to, I can share my screen with you and you would join by clicking the unlocked course room. And I'm just gonna unlock it if you schedule a meeting with me. So you'll need to email me 
at karen.morris at wallacestate.edu to set up a meeting with me. And again, I'll, I'll post that information under email etiquette here. I might change the title to email details so you can know exactly how to get me. Um, this is your SAM student handout here. So it is the same thing really that is in your textbook, your Composition 1 textbook. Um, but it's just in a printable version that you can print and keep forever. It gives you all of the MLA format rules for including sources in your essays, which you will be required to do for three out of the four essays you write this semester. And we're going to start working on that really with the first paragraph assignments. All right. Um, if you are um, taking the 099 component as well, you have a separate class for that. So um, most of you in this class are in English 101 only. Um, there are um, some students who are also in English 099. So if you are, you have a separate page for that and your due dates for assignments are on Mondays and Wednesdays for the 099 component. So here is an example, just for all of you to know, uh, of the quiz, the video quiz format. So to take the quiz, unlike uploading an assignment where you click the colored link, you actually click the quiz itself to start the quiz. Let's see if I can make that work and have it video at the same time. Yay, it is working. So I would probably want to make that full screen if I were taking it and then play it so that I can take that quiz. And then you have the little questions that appear. You can see when a question is coming up here. All right, um, that is all I have to tell you in the preview. I would love to meet with you anytime that you're interested in meeting or on campus. Um, if you can't come to campus, I'm happy to meet with you virtually through Blackboard Collaborate. And do please email me if you have any questions at all. And I look forward to working with you all this semester.